short black hair. Hmm. We'll call it UTL code four one six two ten six for refuel. Eight five seven will seventy six MRPD to try get some blueprints for this uh, fingerprints for this blueprint they threw out. <laughs> Copy that. Let me know if you end up getting a hit. I'll throw a report up. Dun dun dun. Uh, I do need to leave early. I'll probably be getting off here in a moment. I was gonna leave hours ago, uh, and nap, but I'm just gonna not sleep going into bed. <laughs> Dispatch 130, 1038 northbound Calais with a white and color premiere. Very dark tinted windows and a black roof. Red underglow on true occupants. Copy that one. Thought you might get into the eight North Calais. Sorry, it's yeah, to roll down the window. White premiere. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, red underglow. Hello, how you doing? Tinted. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm Officer Rose, Los Santos Police Department. How are you? I'm doing, uh, okay. doing okay. <clears throat> you know why I pulled you over? I actually have no idea. No idea? You know what the speed limit is? It's uh, 35, right? Or 40? It's 55. 55, okay. And despite that, despite saying 35, 45, you were d well over 55. I'm going to be honest with you. Dude, I press on the gas and this thing is going over 55. Like, I know. Um, I mean, you ever yeah, okay, consider yeah, using yeah, the speed should... limiter? No, I didn't actually consider that, but I will in the future for sure. Okay, and then we have an additional issue of these window tints are way too dark. Are they really? Yes. I cannot see anything in this vehicle. Oh. This is how I I bought it from somebody. This is how it was. All right, so you are going to have to get the tints reduced for context. We need to be able to see people in the car. When I say see, I don't mean like squint shine a light and like try to figure out yeah, shadows yeah. okay i need to be able to clearly see gotcha, gotcha. um you know it, I, 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 okay normally vehicles uh in their windshield don't get tinted um however in your case it does normally i you know I, i'd say you don't necessarily have to be as clear as your your front window but in this case i mean you're kind the of front shafted all the way the around darkest if anything uh i mean they're probably all on par with each other um, six suits and submission room evidence processing. That being said, you have some identification with you? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, let me right. go ahead and see that. Okay, Aaron, is this your vehicle? Yes, sir. Vincent Malone. And Mr. Malone, when was the last time you got pulled over, if ever? Uh, I think you pulled me over and you were like making fun of my drip. It was a couple weeks ago. I was, I was making fun of your trip. Oh, it was right. It was right up there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right up there. You're wearing the the pastel colored patchwork looking. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, remember. I remember. I do remember. Hmm. So you're the only officer to ever pull me over. Did I issue you a citation then? No, oh, your husband called you and said that someone was flirting with them, and you're like, oh, I gotta go. Oh, that did happen. You're right. Okay. All right. So what about my drip today, though? It's better? Just step out. It's good, though. It's good. Being an uh, innovator, you know, with the zip-up zip up polo? Mm. No? Try to be honest. Okay, yeah, be honest. Is it the pants? No, it's the shirt. It's the shirt. Because from here, 
Okay, I'm going to say this as respectfully as possible. From here, you yeah. look pregnant. From here, you don't. But from here, you look pregnant. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you're probably going through a lot. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going through um, you know what? You're free to go. You have a wonderful day, okay? Okay. You have a wonderful I'll day. I'll the tents worked out. Appreciate you. <laughs> Patch 130, latest 38, code 10-8. Actually, uh, 130 on 1042, y'all have a good one, stay safe. Dispatch 130, I've been involved in a collision with a green and color baller, standby, on the corner of Vespucci. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, the brake pedal was stuck. The brake pedal or the gas pedal? Accelerator. The, yeah, the accelerator, that one. Okay. All right. I'm getting so... used to manual cars still. Okay, so that was a mistake is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I okay. apologize. Look, I'm, right. I probably fucked your chase. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I wasn't in a, I wasn't in a pursuit. Uh, I was, I was called to an important meeting. So, oh. uh, are you, do you require medical attention? No, I'm okay. I'm are you certain? Yeah, I'm like uh, a okay 100. All right, do you need a repair kit? No, this is uh, that's a customer car. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm Matt Rhodes. Um, in case you need to reach out to me for whatever reason regarding this collision, okay? Um, you are right, free to go. Really. All right, but please, for the love of everything that is holy, stop at red lights. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. You, you can go. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> One thirty seventy six to Mission Row PD, and I will be going ten forty two. Good my roads. If I make it there safely, I said that, and then immediately got into a collision, and that was a tow truck doing ninety one. You need a police escort, roads? Uh, no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's fine. Have a good one. Appreciate you. Have a good night, Ray. Thank you for your service, sir. Have a good one. Hey, Martha. Hello, Hello darling. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, uh, I'm going 42. Oh, well, I don't know what that is, but enjoy it. You... Aren't you doing dispatch stuff? Or is it receptionist? Hi, no reception is just receptionist. receptionist. Okay, no, all right. I just come in and say that I'm R69 and that's it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. Have you ever considered so dispatch? No, people keep telling me that maybe I should do it, but it looks a bit difficult. Doesn't you it? you yeah. would nail it, Martha. Do you think so? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I don't know what I have to do though. People keep saying I just have to say stuff, but I mean you've got to read stuff as well and say it, haven't you? It's got to be like more technical. It's a, it's a combination of both. It's a combination of both. Listen, yeah. if you can work at the the Rooster's Rest, yes, I so promise like. you could do everything required. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think I did at the Rooster's Rest then. It sounds quite. What, what well, you knew you knew the menu, was... which is the I equivalent to ten menu. codes. Oh, the tank. See, I was DOC for a quite a little small while. Ooh. Yeah, and I did like, sort of know that there was codes and everything, and sort of I learned a little bit of it. But then I realised that actually, when I had the interview, they told me that um, it would be really nice. They just actually accosted me in Rooster's Rest, and uh, the, the guy that was in charge said, "Can you do an interview right now?" And I said, "Yeah, all right then." Um, not being funny, but I did like the uniform. It was very nice, but I didn't know at the time that there would be lots of criminals in there. And um, oh. so I had the job for a little bit. I went there a couple of times, but every time I spoke to someone, they'd murdered someone else. And I was like, this That's not the environment you want to be in. Yeah. No, it wasn't mm -hmm. the job that I felt was sold so to me when I was sitting in, in the area. loose. Yeah, I know. So they, they kind of... If it, I said it, I don't think they, they kind of mentioned processes. all of it. Got so it. I sort of... Um, I mean, if you were ever interested, yeah. you can always uh, speak to my husband. He, you know, he's a great teacher. Yeah. Oh, no, he did say, he said, you know, see how I am with reception first. He said, and then, um, and then see how I am like on the phones or whatever he said they were. So, yeah. So, I mean, we, we might be able to, I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't wait. I want phone call 911s back. Oh, yeah. Think about yeah, it, Martha. Was... You could, you could, could you pick up the phone and say 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I can just pick up the phone and say, and what's the matter? And then what, whatever's wrong, I'll say, oh. Uh oh. 
Is that it? I? Well, I mean, if I know the answer, I can say, oh, yeah. I've been shot. What are you going to say? Oh, no. <laughs> no. You know, you have a heart yeah. of gold. I do. I mean, you have I a heart of gold them and everything. I do. I do. Oh, actually, can I ask you a question? Um, uh, sure. My friend came in. He said he wants a four year. He said, and I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I've done that before. If a lawyer comes in, uh, am repeat I that? able to do that? A four year, a freedom of information thing. I don't know if receptionists it, can. I'm not sure. Yeah, someone said that I could. Uh, Mr. Akarakaman said came in, whatever his name is, um, and he said that I could. Uh, so I did. And he said the receptionist can do it, and I've just and so that's it. But he said only okay, lawyers. Before so doing that, you might wanna you might wanna speak yeah. to someone oh, no, on I duty will. at the time, I just because I don't. So there is limitations. Uh, for example, if there's an ongoing yeah. investigation, it's typically tagged. Yeah, um, okay, alternatively, there there's an entire announcement regarding it. So whoever is in charge oh, right, of dispatch, okay. ask them for that, and they can forward that to you. Oh, right, okay then. All right, then I'll ask. Uh, but yeah, they did say that I could. I Perfect. At some point, so. Perfect. All right, I'm going right, okay, to say goodnight right, to my then. husband. Well, you have a good time. Yeah, you okay. too. You Aww. too. All right, then. I'm going Honey, you should, you should teach Martha how to how to dispatch. Damn, you don't forget good. anything yet. What am I? What am I? What am I forgetting? You should be 25 with me, and there's like half an hour ago. What do you mean? So I've been on duty for eight hours. Yeah. Mhm. Mm right, right. They repainted right, this yeah. and still didn't recenter. Keep clear. That's upsetting. I did forget. Listen, there's just a lot of, a lot of wide loads out there, and right, they don't even yeah. realize how wide their load is. That when I haven't spoken to that man in a week, and the only thing I heard was a fucking giggle. That was yeah, Forte, think... wasn't it? There's a, there's a lot of shit going on that I think you're oblivious to at the minute. You know how you know how the mayor said that Frock is frolicking. He frolics. I think no. When it comes to family drama, you've been frolicking a lot, Jack. You know, uh, out of sight, out of mind, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, well, it's just flop. No, no, no. Listen, let's not. Forte's not adopted uh, yet, right? No, no, he's not. Um, the, the problem that came up last night was in a roundabout way i learned and flop learned that zuki is either very close with or involved with the admc the gang is he their attorney that's what he's saying he's saying that he is both a lawyer and a therapist for them uh, uh, the problem oh, that is, is so conflicting. Right. Uh, so Flop is concerned from a... Because he's working investigations regarding the ADMC, and so he's asking Ziggy, like, you know, I don't want to find out in the 11th hour that I'm conflicted out of this, and then the whole thing gets fucked because of you. But Ziggy's saying, no, no, no. But I had a conversation with Ziggy. I think if it's and... even a topic of conversation, he should back out. If it even has to be considered, he should remove himself. This is the thing. When I was talking to him about it, and I'll be honest, I went into this as an interrogation. I'll be honest, because I, hearing that made my skin crawl. And he started... I won't give you everything, but for some reason during that conversation, he started asking me whether... If a cop went to crime, whether it was really so bad, if, you know, they had, if they'd been fucked by the system, is a TLDR. Which really came out of the blue and didn't make any sense. Uh, oh. And I didn't ask about it. Um, which really worries me.
Yeah, that's concerning. Yeah. Hey gang. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Senior Officer Rhodes, I just stole this from a group who was stealing them. Oh. Is that theft? You can't really steal from... No, no, we just need to put that, you know, in documentation and whenever its rightful owner attempts to recover it, we can return it. Wonderful. Okay, I'll go and put it in an evidence locker and make sure there's a report associated with a picture of the people that were beating up security guards. One of them oh. ran over to me and, hey, what are you doing in my car? What are you doing? <laughs> you say, Those are my HVAC. <laughs> Was it 60? No, I don't oh my think God. so. Did you I see them get out of it? <laughs> I saw them. No, no, no. So they, they were throwing uh, HVAC parts off the roof down to that car. So there you oh. go. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe they were just throwing it. Oh, yeah. Mine now. D did you tell them to keep throwing them? I did tell one of them. I, I shouted from the rooftop, you're caught on camera. Smile, bitch. But oh, they didn't no. even notice me when I was on the roof of oh, no. the, the colorful garage. So I was like, I could yoink from these guys. I don't give a fuck. So I did. <sighs> well, I have to get going, honey. We can finish this conversation. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're good. you're good. You're good. You're good. You're okay. Um, for what it's worth, I stand by what I said, Flop, if he even suspects in the slightest, he should remove himself. Especially just on the basis that his husband's both their lawyer and attorney. It, that's a lawyer and therapist. It, that's just a, a mess. It's a recipe for disaster. My, my concern is if Ziggy's involved on an intimate level and talking about possibly doing criminal activity in the future... Uh, obviously with them then I don't want him anywhere near Plop because that's just a recipe for disaster I mean we know what happens with motorcycle gangs we've been there don't go well for family are we sure he's not taking psychedelics what is he here yeah no I'm just saying you know historically it's I mean, you remember, right? <laughs> remember what? No, it's fine. It's fine. I have to get going. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. I love you. Okay. I love you too. You gotta schedule. We gotta schedule some off duty time for you. I know. Also, after that conversation we had yesterday, I saw your car beat up in the corner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's pretty beat up. It's pretty mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. You know, you were right. Yeah. All right. Okay. See you tomorrow. I'll see you at home. Bye. Hi. Yeah, I'll see you at home. Uh, oh, well. There we go. Good night. Night. <laughs> I'm in a rush, so I'm hiding over here, chat. Don't mind me. <laughs> here we are. Uh, is Sock live chat? Please tell me he is. Sock. Perfect. All right, chat. I'm calling it. So thank you all so much for all love support. I appreciate it. Thank you all for the follows, host rates, bits, donation subs, get subs, resubs. I say this each and every time. I genuinely cannot have asked for better community to be built around this channel. So thank y'all for being absolutely amazing. Uh, if y'all haven't already, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash elephant or x.com slash elephant. Uh, join our Discord, discord.gg slash elephant. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, drop me a follow on Twitch. Alternatively, you can join our Discord, the panel underneath the stream. Also follow, or, you know, look at our, or x, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, uh, with the panel under the stream. So, yeah. Neopets, oh my gosh. That's a throwback. All right, I have to I have to go. 